She represented the United States in the Winter Olympics. Shelly is the Olympic speed skating gold medalist. Look it up in here, Dave. But Joey has a very special message he would like to share with all of us fans and with his mom. I hope everyone is having an awesome 4th of July with the Hoppers. I know my mom is down on the field and I wish I could be there with her to help celebrate, but I'm so excited to keep working on projects that give everyone the chance to excel. I'd like to send a special thank you to all the men and women who are serving far from home on this day of American independence. Our hearts and our thoughts are with you. We wish you could be here as well. To everyone else, have an awesome 4th of July. Be careful with those fireworks. Thank you, gentlemen. Jim McCheek, ladies and gentlemen. Also on the field, we are honored to have the family of Airman First Class Callie McGee. The McGee family makes it a tradition to celebrate Independence Day with the Grasshoppers. Unfortunately, their daughter Callie is serving overseas and could not be here today, but she has some words she would like to share with her family. Hey everyone, happy 4th of July. I want to give a shout out to all my brothers and sisters out there who have served and are still serving in service. And also to the families who support all of us, and especially my family, that I haven't seen in a really long time. And yeah, might as well do that now. got home yesterday. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, how about another all-American welcome to the entire McGee family reunited on the field this evening. Soldiers leave their family to protect others. We love them, we miss them when they are gone, and we want them all to come home. They are our heroes. Crack a man with a What? 
burn, burner. I was gonna start the book, but I have a better idea. What? I was thinking Daddy could read the book. Where's he? Oh, <laughs> 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 Guys, this is Ty's daddy. He came home from Afghanistan last week, and we've been keeping it a secret from Ty. So we wanted to surprise him today. <laughs> Sorry. It's a teddy bear. Hey, Ty, do you like a surprise? <laughs> Everybody knew you what you asked last week if you could bring daddy to show and tell. Here you go. Here's your moment. <laughs> Maybe Dad can tell a little yeah. bit about you get the what you've been doing. Wave your flag! Oh, wave your flag! Everybody, wave your flag! Oh, 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 oh
in the bathroom, but looking good. Say oh. hello to the camera, buddy. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, she she <laughs> thought I was deployed. <laughs> she thought you were cowhide. Oh, I played you so much. I know it feels so bad. Here at Bicker Dyke Elementary School in Russell, Kansas, one fifth grader is about to get a very big surprise. It was a surprise weeks in the making. My whole intention was to surprise the whole family, but then I figured I couldn't get a ride from Hay, so I had to let my wife in on it. And uh, so she came out and said, well, that's just a surprise our youngest one. So while his fifth grade daughter, Emma, took a water fountain break, Sergeant Schroeder snuck in and anxiously sat at her desk, waiting. What took you so long? I've been waiting here forever. Hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I just came in school, sat and started learning stuff, I guess. When I came back in, and I saw him and all that, and I started crying. Sergeant Warren Schroeder is part of the National Guard and left for Iraq this past October. His deployment is for an entire year, but he was able to take a two-week leave. It's hard to put into words, and we don't get a call home every day. Or, but, I mean, media's gotten a lot better where we have, you know, email and stuff, so it's a lot easier to communicate, but it's still not the same as being here. Being here and having some lunch sharing stories and cinnamon rolls, and enjoying some much-needed family time. Sergeant Schroeder will only be home for two weeks, and it's back to Iraq and work. He hopes to be home in late October. In Russell, Enrique Ramirez, Cake News. Which one's What took you so long? I've been waiting here forever. Well, hi, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Surprise? <laughs> 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 Didn't know I was coming home, did you? Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, good. I'm glad. Cassie. I flew in from Tokyo yesterday. Jacob and Jeremy. They're here for a very special birthday celebration. Well, your dad and uncle wanted to send you guys a very special birthday message. Let's take a look. Hey kids, I want to wish you an early happy birthday from Monrovia. I wish I could be there with you to celebrate, but I can't. My special friend, Rocky, has brought you guys some birthday presents. Well, you guys heard him. Oh. Let's head to center court. We got some birthday gifts that Rocky wants to pass out. Are you ready? All right, Rocky, let's take them over. Team signed basketball, that is awesome. What about you, Miss Kylie? Oh, it's Olaf on one. What's that, Rocky? One? Of course you have one more gift. What do you got, Rocky? Thank you. 